Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see this. First thing I'm going to do is pull the little insulator off. And we're going to crimp this on. See, this will go straight down. So we want it right about that attitude. Tip of our gun looks a little bit dirty. Get some flux on there and look at that, nice and bright. I'm just going to tend just the tip of it where I want to put that connector. And this one I'm going to tend all of it because it's going to go down into the hole. Okay. Now comes the fun part. Although I uh, do have a little blob of solder on there I need to take off. Fun part is going to be soldering this one backwards so that you can see it. So we slide the center conductor down into the hole. Touch that iron. Shouldn't be doing that. We want to bring the iron a little more flux, a little crud on it. Bring the iron to the back side. Touch that center conductor. And just get a little wire solder in there. Six thirty-two nut. Put the flat washer down on it. And the antenna is all but done now. All we have to do now put the other three nuts on here. Seal this up, so we want to have this sealed. We'll use some liquid electrical tape for that. Put the other three nuts on after we've sealed it with silicone. Put the cap back on. It's so the next day, overnight, I took a li liquid electrical tape and I sealed up the coaxial feed line uh, ends so that there's insulation, no moisture can get in. Both ends, put about four coats on there and let it dry in between coats. So that now we have a sealed up feed line. We're gonna finish installing the SO239 into the uh, CPVCT. So without any further ado, let's get this put in there. And the SO239 is installed. Now all that's left is to close it up. There we have it. I'll put a counterpoise in. Uh, counterpoise. The counterbalance in. That's way too tight over there. We'll cut it right about, cut it right about here and see what happens. So I'm here outside the ham shack and uh, getting ready to make the elements. This is what you'll need. Let me put the tools down here for a minute. This is uh, 8 inch stainless steel TIG welding wire. 
comes in a pack of 10, it's about $20 at the local place, you'll need two of these. So you'll have eight left over. Take a couple of them out, we're going to bend these into a U, and uh, make those elements. work the best for me with what I've got, a pair of vice grips, and a drill bit placed around into a hole on my motorcycle changing uh, setup. So let me zoom down into that area. So because we're making this for two liter, two meter, 70 centimeter, we need about 19 inches on, a little over 19 inches on the uh, two meter side, and about six inches, goes seven on the uh, 70 centimeter side. So let's pick a spot that's in between those two from the two ends. And then when we're done, we'll trim the two ends off. The way I do this, is I just sit it over there. I've got this drill bit in here. You want it to be about 10 millimeters across. And I just start the bend right around that. And keep it coming. Take the vice grips. Use the vice grips to make that go on around that curve. Watch your fingers. Try not to put too much pressure on the uh, elements out at a distance from that bend, or you'll end up with a funky shape to it. You want a nice straight element coming up off of that curve. And then we want the ends to be 10 millimeters apart as well. So there's most of it. But as you can see, it's not straight. Try to get these elements where they're just parallel. You don't have to go past parallel because it springs back on you. Yeah, that's a little too far, but we can spring it back now. And just fiddle with it a little bit. Hard for me to put this where you can see it. And I can see it. There we go. Pretty close. We'll do some fine tuning after we cut it. Because we'll be jostling it around when we cut it. Let me make the other one real quick. And there's the second one. A little easier the second time. I forgot a little bit about how to do it. So now I'll... Uh, cut these off to length and uh, they're ready to install. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to cut the elements. So this is one of the elements from the antenna that's been tested and works uh, pretty much flat across both bands, 2 meter, 70 centimeter. So it's excellent. I'm going to reproduce this exact cut. And when I told you earlier about the distance, this is a 1764 drill bit. It goes through and just barely touches both sides till you get down to about here. So I'm going to continue to modify the two that I've made with the vice grips and this drill bit until I get this distance to equal what's here on this drill bit. And to do that, I'm going to use the vice grips. We're going to close it down a bit on the very end because it's too wide. And this is a little tricky because you're trying to get that bend to go without 
bringing the two together too much. So, not quite the same as this one. A little bit more. And you just have to play with these. Yeah, there we go. Just have to play with them. And when I'm doing this, I try to alternate sides. There we go. Getting there. And I'll put all of this on video, but I'm going to speed it up probably when I do the editing. So you don't have to sit here for 20 minutes while I fiddle with this. Okay, so they're pretty close to the original one, and now I'm going to cut them to length. And I'm going to do that because you know that these two work simply by comparing them and making the cut. Last time I used a hacksaw, this time I'm using a power tool. So I'm going to stand up to do this. Hopefully you can see this in the video. Get the base, the two bottoms together. Press down with the hand and trim off the short one. Make sure that the sparks are going away from my face. trim the long one that was so much easier than using the hacksaw do the other one Okay, so now I'm going to make sure I keep the original one separate because I know this one works. But all three of them are now the same length, top and bottom. And they're within an eighth of an inch. This one may need to be trimmed a little bit. Let's make sure that's not the original. It is not. Compare that one again. And it's just a tad long on it got cut at a bit of an angle. So I'm just going to trim that off. And perfect. Now that I've got them trimmed, this is all the extra that there is just two little pieces out of a 36 inch stick so you do have some room for uh, starting to bend but there is not a whole lot of extra and one thing that I'd point out is don't try and use it from the from one end and not make the cut because there's a little flat speed piece right here on each one and I don't know if that would affect the radiation pattern but it is a change in the flow of electrons, so I would assume that it would. Because it's a change in the shape of the metal, I am assuming that it would change the flow of electrons. So you want to try and cut those out. 
that's up to you. I'm now going to take the drill bit, the original, and we'll make the final adjustments on the two new ones. And that one moved a little tiny bit while we were cutting it. And there we go. And this one wasn't close. So we'll do a little more crimping on that one. And I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I don't know if it's th critical that they are this identical. There we go. Okay, those are done. Let me grab the antenna. We'll stick those on there.